In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera with Protostax enclosures using the new Protostax camera kit for Raspberry Pi high quality camera. It supports uh, all flavors of Raspberry Pi, including the B+, A+, 4B, as well as the Pi Zero. So no matter which flavor of Raspberry Pi you're using, you now have an enclosure and camera kit uh, that'll work with the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera. I'm also going to show you how to uh, set up the six millimeter lens uh, with the camera sensor, including how to set up and adjust the uh, aperture and the focal length. This is the new uh, Protostax camera kit for the Raspberry Pi high quality camera. It comes with a couple of pieces and some hardware. Um, this is a modified top plate that contains mounting holes for the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera as well as these uh, cable slots uh, for the uh, camera cable. It comes with a modified side wall that has a standard quarter 20 tripod mount and a bunch of uh, PCB spacers for mounting as well as uh, mounting screws and uh, nuts for the camera. I've gone ahead and removed the protective backing and laid out the various uh, components. And here is the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera. This is actually the, just the camera sensor. Uh, you would need the lens to go with it. And it also comes with a, a little screwdriver. I also have the six millimeter lens that uh, goes with it, but uh, we'll deal with this a little later. We don't need it right now. The first thing that I'm going to do is mount the camera on the top plate. So to do that, I'll just slip the camera cable through the cable slot, line the camera up with the uh, mounting holes, place the uh, PCB spacer in between the, the PCB and the top plate, insert my screw, fix it with the nut. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the other three sides. So I now have the uh, camera sensor that's mounted on my top plate. And now I can go ahead and uh, attach this to one of my Protostax enclosures. Um, this will work with any of the uh, Protostax enclosures. Uh, of course, we are interested in those that support uh, the Pi. So uh, whether it is uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, or the Raspberry Pi 4B, or the Raspberry Pi A Plus. All you need to do is take out the existing top, replace it with the new top plate, uh, of course, first you'd want to connect the camera cable uh, to the board and then replace the, uh, the side wall with the quarter 20 camera mount and you're good to go. I'm going to show it to you uh, with the uh, Protostax enclosure for Raspberry Pi A+. So first thing is, let's go ahead and remove the existing top lid. There's a little washer underneath. Take that out. Okay, so this we can put aside and we're gonna replace this as well. So we can put that aside. Uh, first thing I'd wanna do is take this plate out 
to get ex uh, access to the camera slot I'm going to line up the camera cable in this orientation and insert it in and then press down on the tabs to make sure that it is firmly in place and with that I can go back and put the side long side wall in as well as the new short side wall with the quarter 20 mount and close up the enclosure the top plate you would want to line up the tabs with the slots in the top plate and you might want you might need to jiggle around the sides a little bit to get the fit make sure that you finesse it so that you don't end up cracking the acrylic because of undue pressure now I'm going to go ahead and close it up I'm going to insert the uh, washer underneath the plate between the, uh, the upper standoff and the plate put the screw above the top plate and screw it in I'm going to repeat the process for the other three sides And voila, we have the uh, enclosure with the tripod mount and the high quality camera with the Raspberry Pi A plus inside, ready to be mounted on the tripod. Before we do that, the, ras the Raspberry Pi high quality camera comes with a uh, CS to C uh, adapter. We don't need that. So we can take that out with the, the uh, cap, put that aside. So that is the camera sensor. Be careful to um, keep that clean. And so this is the uh, camera sensor. And before I, I put the um, lens in I want to make sure that this focus ring is tightened all the way in and then I'm going to go ahead and use the screwdriver to tighten this focus ring lock so that it doesn't move then I'm going to go ahead and Screw the, the six millimeter lens in until it's firmly screwed in. Okay. The next step would be to um, set up the Raspberry Pi to use the camera as well as um, make adjustments to the uh, aperture and the focal length of this camera so that uh, it will be in focus and have the right amount of light for uh, the uh, type of photo that you would want to take. We'll do that in the next step. I'm going to go ahead and attach my tripod mount plate to the camera mount on my protostax enclosure okay so now I'm ready to mount this on my tripod all right so I have my uh, Pi camera setup mounted on my tripod the first thing that I'd want to do is go ahead and open up terminal on my desktop the camera preview only works when the display is connected directly to the Pi. Usually, uh, there is a way to enable a uh, headless setup in which the camera preview can be seen remotely. You can do this by uh, using VNC and applying certain settings to uh, the setup. Check out the project hub uh, link in the description below to find out instructions on how to have a headless setup in your own environment. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start the camera preview uh, like so using uh, Raspi still. And it's now black. That's because I have not opened the camera cover yet. So you'll see that it's the image is a little blurry. So the first thing that I want to do is adjust the aperture. The way that I do that is there are two rings here that have a knob. The one that is further away from the camera is for the aperture. So I'm going to loosen that knob a little bit. And then holding the front ring, I'm going to make sure that I move only the aperture ring. And you will see that uh, the amount of light that enters can be controlled by the aperture. So pick something that you're comfortable with and then you can go ahead and tighten the that knob. The knob is here. So once this knob is tightened, these two rings are going to be moving together. And the next step is to adjust the focus. And the way that you do that is uh, you're going to make sure that this part is, is tightened and you're going to move these two together until the object comes in focus. So when you first get the camera and it's new, this uh, thing is here is going to be a little tight too. Uh, so you just have to give it a little pressure and uh, don't be too afraid. And once uh, it gets moving, it gets a lot smoother. So now I don't really need to hold these two rings in, uh, in position. I can just adjust it simply like, like this. And so I'll keep moving it until my image comes in focus. Uh, that looks good for me here. And then if I want to adjust the uh, aperture again, after adjusting the focus, I can just do that by moving only that aperture ring. So let's say I want a, a really dark image. So then I can readjust the aperture, tighten it, and then make sure I want to make any further adjustments to the focus. And there you have it. So that uh, is how you set up your Raspberry Pi high quality camera. Hope this video helped. If you don't have the high quality camera, but have the older Pi camera instead, don't fret. That's because we have a similar Protostax camera kit for the Pi camera. And uh, in the next video, I will show you how to set up and use the Pi camera with Protostax enclosures. We also have other extension kits uh, that can extend the functionality of your Protostax enclosures. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we publish our next videos. On behalf of the team at Protostax, I'm Sridhar Rajagopal. See you next time.